what is a realistic way to employ dialogue that will make your stories feel more real to your audiences? The answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. Recently, I got a great piece of advice from my friend, Michael Haig. Michael is a Hollywood scriptwriting consultant. He said this phrase, which just jumped out at me, about using dialogue in stories. He said, Michael, people speak in contractions. That immediately made sense to me. Contractions are how people speak in everyday language. Here's a quick example. Let's say a friend of mine called me up and invited me to a party at his house, and I couldn't make it. So I would say, I am sorry, Jeff. I cannot attend your event. I hope you will not be upset with me for not being able to attend. That sounds like something out of a Shakespearean play. Maybe not the right language, but you see what I'm saying? It sounds like a play. What would I really say? Oh, Jeff, I'm sorry. I can't make it. I hope you're not upset with me. Contractions. I'm. You're. Can't. This is how we speak in everyday language. As you're writing your next story or you're rewriting it, ask yourself that question that you've heard in other tips. Do I speak this way? Take that question to a deeper level. Do I speak in contractions here? Do I use shorter words? Do I combine terms or do I just use clipped sentences? Recreate that dialogue the way you do it in everyday life over the dinner table or maybe out at the local restaurant and you'll create a deeper connection with your audience because it will feel more real to them. How have you used dialogue in your stories to create a deeper connection with your audience? Leave your comments below, and I'll see you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.